Welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to learn how to identify main ideas and supporting details. We're going to try to answer the four questions that are provided here. What is the main idea? What are supporting details? How can a reader identify the main idea and supporting details of a provided text? Why should a reader identify the main idea and supporting details of a provided text? Hmm, what is a main idea? The main idea is the most important idea pulled from the text that has been read. The author's most important point is the main idea. Finding the main idea of a text is the sum of quote-unquote putting it all together. If someone were to ask a reader, what was the text about? The reader's response would be the main idea. What are supporting details? Supporting details are facts, statements, examples, and specifics which guide readers to a full understanding of the main idea. They help clarify, illuminate, explain, describe, expand, and illustrate the main idea of the text. Supporting details can be sentences that compare, sentences that contrast, statistics to back up the main idea, or quotations that back up the main idea. Hmm. How can a reader identify the main idea of a provided text? The main idea can be found within a paragraph, a section of text, the whole text, or an entire book. You need to ask yourself this question, what is the text about? The answer to this question defines the topic of the text. Mostly the main idea is found within the first sentence of the paragraph or section, etc. Sometimes the reader must determine the main idea of the text by reviewing the supporting details provided by the author. How can a reader identify supporting details of a provided text? Identifying the supporting details of a text include locating the facts, statements, examples, specifics, the comparisons, statistics and numbers, and quotations that can justify or back up the main idea that has been found within a text. Why should a reader identify the main idea and supporting details of a provided text? When a reader can identify the main idea in supporting details of the text, it can improve their comprehension of the text. Now let's take a moment and review what we've learned. Here's a paragraph right here. Let's see if we can identify the main idea and supporting details. Today was an exceptional day. First, I woke up in a great mood. Then, my bus driver gave each of the bus riders a card with words of encouragement. Then, they had my favorite food, which is ravioli for lunch. Finally, my dad was off of work today, so he was able to make it to my basketball game on time. We can identify the main idea as the first sentence in that paragraph. Today was an exceptional day, because that was the basic gist of the entire paragraph. The supporting details are included here. First, I woke up in a great mood. Then my bus driver gave each of the bus riders a card with words of encouragement. Then they had my favorite food, which is ravioli for lunch. Finally, my dad was off of work today, so he was able to make it to my basketball game on time. So the author provided four reasons why today was an exceptional day. Let's take a look at the next paragraph. Our solar system has four rocky planets that are very unique from one another. Mercury is the closest rocky planet from the Sun. It is close to Earth's moon in size. Venus is the second closest to the Sun and contains a thick atmosphere. Earth is the third planet from the Sun. Earth and Venus are similar sizes, but there is no life on Venus, but life on Earth. The fourth rocky planet from the Sun is Mars, or the Red Planet. Now, we can take a look at this graphic organizer and we can see that the main idea is identified as that first sentence. Our solar system has four rocky planets that are very unique from one another. Mercury is the closest rocky planet from the Sun, so that is the first supporting detail. The second supporting detail, it is close to Earth's moon in size. So we're still describing the planets, the rocky planets from the Sun. Venus is the second closest and contains a thick atmosphere. 
Earth is the third planet from the Sun. Earth and Venus are similar in sizes, but there is no life on Venus but life on Mars. There's another supporting detail. The fourth rocky planet from the Sun is Mars, or the Red Planet. So the main idea was provided to inform us that there's four rocky planets that are very unique from one another. And then the author provided many different supporting details to justify or to back up that main idea. Let's summarize what we've learned today. The main idea of a text is the most important idea about a topic. Supporting details are smaller pieces of information that help explain or tell more about the main idea. Readers that can recognize the main idea and supporting details from a paragraph, a section of text, the whole text, or a whole book, they comprehend or understand what they're reading. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram. Like us on Facebook. Check out our Pinterest page. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com. We'll see you later.